Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we are going to be getting our very first look at Ryzen Raven Ridge, which I have in this box right here. This is the reviewer's kit that was sent out to me. These are releasing on February 12th next week, and they are actually using Vega graphics right inside of the CPU. So these are basically the new APUs from AMD, which have Vega 11 and Vega 8 inside the two different CPUs respectively. I'm, spe I'm expecting to have Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 in here. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into this and then we'll start talking about some of the other stuff as we go along. So as I said, this is the reviewer's kit. This is not something you would buy if you went in the store, but we'll still get a chance to look at the boxes inside and see what you would expect to have, like the cooler that comes along with it and all of that. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open. Got a little bit of Velcro, sorry for that, no, that your rape. Oh, and there it is. There is the Riven, the Riven, no, Ra Ryzen Raven Ridge. That's a lot of R's. It's a lot of R's, AMD. I give you credit for alliteration, but not for ease of saying, okay? So you can see in here, we've got two different APUs. We've got Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3, and they've also included in a motherboard and RAM. I guess they typically do this so that just in case you don't have a motherboard and RAM, for testing that you do have it on hand. Uh, I'm not actually not gonna be using this motherboard for, t for this testing. I'm gonna hold on to this because I am planning to do a small form factor HTPC using one of these Ryzen APUs since they've got the integrated graphics and I don't really need a graphics card for that. So I'm gonna be using that in my living room. But let me know what you would wanna use these Raven Ridge APUs for. I, I imagine they certainly could be good for you know kind of getting over this hump right now with graphics card prices as high as they are to at least have an APU. So that's something I definitely want to look at to see if this is a good kind of buffer if you pick up an APU uh, and in the time being trying to use that for gaming, just how realistic it is to play some modern titles and some more popular titles. So as I said, there is a motherboard included in here. This is the MSI B350i Pro AC. It seems to be a mini ITX motherboard. So absolutely perfect for what I'm wanting to do with that HTPC build that will be coming up probably in the next couple of weeks here on the channel. They did also include some RAM in the box. This is uh, G-Skill Flare X RAM. Let's go ahead and check the packaging on there. This is DDR4 3200 megahertz, so very fast RAM. That's gonna be important for the Infinity Fabric as well as the fact that we are using an APU here. So RAM speeds have always been important when it comes to using integrated graphics with Ryzen or AMD CPUs in general so that you can get the fastest connection possible using the RAM and it is looks like it is CAS latency 14 so very nice RAM right here 16 gigabytes of that 3200 megahertz I got the latest BIOS update for the motherboard I'm going to be using for testing which has the newest Adjusta standard so that's going to be good all right there uh, one more thing inside of here little little AMD USB that's very nice this is uh, looks like it's a USB 2 drive so this will be good actually I do need a, a good USB 2 drive for just installing BIOS and stuff like that because I've been using USB 3 drives which are usually like 64 gigabytes and then that compresses it down since it has to be FAT32 and then I have to go through the whole process of using disk part to get it back up to the full size that it was so it's nice to just have a drive like this and also a cool little AMD drive can't complain about that all right now on to the stars of the show I'll go ahead and get these out and move this big old box out of the way okay so We'll start off here, we got Ryzen 3. Now this is going to be a quad core. This is the Ryzen 3 2200G. This is going to be your quad core CPU, no hyper threading at all. I do believe these are launching at $99 and I think the Ryzen 5 is $179 if I'm not mistaken. I'm just kind of going off the top of the head here. But yeah, this is Ryzen 3 2200G, so definitely gonna be the more budget oriented. And this is the one that is going to have eight compute units. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Vega, they use, well, CPUs, GPUs in general, they use compute units. But uh, Vega 64, Vega 56, those have 64 and 56 compute units respectively. So looking at these, you could, this is gonna be eight compute units. Ryzen 5 will be 11, so this is Vega 8. And this is Vega 11, so you'll probably get a little bit more GPU power out of the Ryzen 5. And also it has the benefit of hyper-threading if that's something you want to utilize. I'm not sure which one of these I'll use in the HTPC. Let me know down in the comments below which one you think I should roll with. I'm kind of leaning towards the Ryzen 3 because I don't think I'm going to need hyper-threading in there. So we'll see how that all works out. But I've got my handy-dandy unboxing knife. So let's slice into Ryzen 3 and see what is in the box. Do you know the way to open the box? I know the way to open the box. 
Let's go ahead and open it there, top down. All right, so we've got our first look there inside. We can see over here on the right, we've got our APU or CPU. There it is, Ryzen 3 2200G, and we do have a Ryzen uh, desktop, you know, sticker. If you want to go ahead and put that on your case, you got that right there, or stick it on the back of your car. It'll be really tiny; no one will be able to see it, but you'll know it's there. So that's cool. So nothing different at all about this packaging from uh, previous Ryzen CPUs. The main difference really is just this kind of adornment across the top with the Radeon Vega graphics insignia. And for the cooler, it does include a cooler, so that's good for people that are picking these up on a budget. You won't have to factor in the extra cost of getting a dedicated CPU cooler for your Ryzen Raven Ridge system. Go ahead and pop this open and see what cooler is inside of here. And it looks like it is the Wraith Stealth. So I guess the rumors were true. We've got a Wraith Stealth cooler right inside the box there. And on the back side, we could see the pre-applied thermal paste. So you don't even need to worry about thermal paste if you're picking up one of these CPUs with the cooler and do plan to use the stock cooler. And in my experience, these coolers are not bad at all, especially when you're looking at cooling a 65 watt TDP part like these. So, there, and I, I'm pretty sure it's 65 watts. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like 95% sure. I'm sure if I'm wrong, though, someone let me know down in the comments below. But that's, that, that's, that's what happens before the review, guys. You know, you, you kind of learn as much as you can, and by the time the full review go, goes up, we'll definitely have all of the, the correct specifications. But I'm pretty sure these are 65 watts. So I'll go ahead and stick that back in the box there. I'm sure we're not going to see any surprises here with the Ryzen 5 2400G, but we'll go ahead and pop it open just for parity's sake. Once again, same exact thing, got our CPU here on the side, sticker included along with that, and then the cooler, same as the Ryzen 3, it's the Wraith Stealth, so like I said, not really any surprises there with that, but that is our unboxing for Ryzen Raven Ridge. If you guys want to see any sort of specific testing using these APUs, please let me know down in the comments below as I'm still moving towards and doing testing and if there's any specific games you want to see tested or applications or different uses for Raven Ridge, I do want to see those down in the comments below because there's still time between when you're going to be seeing this video in a couple of days from right now in real time versus when the reviews actually go up. So there's still time for me to adjust testing, maybe include a couple extra games if there's something you want to see. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the games I'm testing right now because I don't want any of my competition to sort of kind of eavesdrop on what my testing is because I think I've got kind of a unique approach to how I want to go about doing this review. So yeah, let me know what you want to see tested on these and what you're planning to use them for. And also the first question I'd ask you guys using HTPC, what do you think I should go with, Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5? Let's discuss. I look forward to that down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this boxing, uh, un unboxing, deboxing, the, the deboxing if you would, of Raven Ridge. Leave a like on the video down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you have been here for a while, you can always hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of content like my upcoming Raven Ridge content with reviews and testing and all different sorts of things. So I look forward to doing that for you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Ta-ta-ta-ta-da! -ta -ta -ta